Hey guys, welcome to MedBuff. This video is going to be about embryology of retina. I would highly recommend that you watch part 1 that is embryology of optic cup and part 2 that is embryology of lens before this video. Ok so let's start. In part 1 of this series we have already learned how the optic cup is formed. So just a recap. The optic cup is a double wall structure having an inner neural layer and an outer pigmented layer separated by intraretinal space. Soon, the two layers oppose each other and the intraretinal space disappears. The outer pigmented layer forms retinal pigmented epithelium, while the inner neural layer is divided into posterior four-fifth and anterior one-fifth. The posterior four-fifth is called pars optica retinae. It gives rise to retina, while the anterior one-fifth is called pars cica retinae, which gives rise to ciliary body, iris, and pupillary muscles. So the anterior one-fifth of neural layer called pars cica retinae is further divided into pars ciliaris retinae and pars iridica retinae. The pars ciliaris retinae gives rise to marked foldings which form ciliary body. Meanwhile, the pars iridica retinae gives rise to the inner unpigmented layer of iris. The region surrounding the optic cup is filled with loose mesenchyme. Within this loose mesenchyme, dilator and sphincter pupillary muscles originate from the ectoderm of the optic cup, while the ciliary muscle originates from the loose mesenchyme. The posterior four-fifth of neural layer, called pars optica retinae, divides into three layers, photoreceptive layer, mantle layer, and fibrous layer. The photoreceptive layer contains rods and cones. The mantle layer contains nerve cells like ganglion cells and bipolar cells, while the fibrous layer contains exons of nerve cells in the deeper layers of retina. These nerve fibers converge and form the optic stalk, and this develops into the optic nerve. So this ends our video on the embryology of retina. I hope you found this video informative. Please like, share, comment and subscribe.